share dividends. Share dividends are different from cash or property dividends because share dividends do not transfer assets to the shareholders. Okay. Ang dividends can be cash. Pwedeng ibigay, ang, pwedeng ibigay ng cash sa shareholders. Pwede rin in a form of property sa shareholders or pwede rin dividends yung marireceive ni shareholder as dividend. And kapag share dividends is hindi walang assets na involved na pag-transfer from corporation to shareholders. This type of dividend affects only the accounts within the shareholders equity. <clears throat> share dividends increase the total share capital and decrease the retained earnings account. Okay. So ibig sabihin kapag nagkaroon ng share dividends, ang affected lang is yung shareholders equity account lang ng or shareholders equity accounts lang ng corporation. Dahil ang kapag share dividends is nagta-transfer lang from retained earnings papunta sa share capital account which is parehong shareholders equity account. Small share dividends. Small share dividends are dividends in which the additional shares are issued at less than 20% of the previously outstanding shares. Ibig sabihin, ng share dividends, pwede siyang tawagin na small share dividends, maliit na share dividends. And masasabi natin na maliit or small share dividends kapag ang share dividends is less than 20% lang ng outstanding shares. These share dividends are recorded by transferring the fair market value of the additional shares to be issued. In cases when the fair value is lower than the par value or stated value, the par or stated value will be the basis of recording. So, ibig sabihin, kapag small share dividends, ang basis ng recording is yung fair market value ng share dividend. Kapag small share dividends and kapag mas maliit yung fair market value sa par or stated value ng shares then yung par value or yung stated value will be the basis of recording so in summary ayan small share dividends is less than 20% of outstanding shares na record siya at fair market value but kapag ang fair market value is mas mababa sa stated value or the par value then yung par value or stated value will be the basis of recording. To record small share dividends, debit retained earnings at fair market value, credit share distributable, or minsan stock dividends payable yung account na ginagamit, at par value ng shares, credit share premium for the excess. Large share dividends. If the share dividend is 20% or more of the previously outstanding shares such that the effect is to reduce materially the market value per share, then only the par or stated value is credited to the ordinary shares with the corresponding debit to retained earnings. Kapag naman large share dividends, ibig sabihin 20% of more 20% or more of the previously outstanding shares. Kapag ganito yung rate ng dividend o ng share dividend, siya ay large share dividends. And ang basis ng recording niya is par or stated value lang yung basis. To record large share dividends, debit retained earnings, credit share distributable, or stock dividends payable for the par value ng share dividends. Illustration, assume the following data. Ordinary shares, 100 par value, 50,000 shares issued, 5 million. Share premium, retained earnings, market value, declaration date, 150 pesos per share. Market value, distribution date, 170 pesos per share. For each of the following assumptions, <coughs> Prepare entries on the date of declaration and date of payment.
payment. Number one, 20% share dividends is declared on ordinary shares. And number two, a 10% share dividends is declared on ordinary shares. Okay, application tayo ng share dividends. Ang gagawin natin is journal entries. So, dun sa number 1, 20% share dividends. And kapag 20% share dividends, siya ay large share dividends dahil 20% yung rate. And ang basis ng recording is par or stated value. Okay. Kung natin gagawin for number 1 is i-determine natin yung number of share dividends. Ang basehan nito is yung outstanding shares. Paano tayo paano natin ma-determine yung outstanding shares? Okay, to compute for the number of outstanding shares na pagbabasehan natin for computing the share dividends is yung outstanding shares. Outstanding shares equals issued shares plus subscribe shares minus treasury shares. Okay. Sa problem, hanapin natin yung issued. Ordinary shares, 50,000 shares issued. Okay, 50,000. Yan. Plus subscribe shares. May subscribe shares ba na-given? Wala. Minus treasury shares. May treasury shares na-given sa problem? Wala. Zero. Ibig sabihin, 50,000 yung magiging basihan natin ng share dividends. And yung number ng share dividends would be 50,000 shares which is ito, yung na-compute natin times the 20% rate. 50,000 shares times 20% equals 10,000 shares. Yun yung number ng share yun yung number ng share dividends. To record yung declaration Debit retained earnings. Number of share dividends is 10,000 shares. Times, okay, balikan natin yung note. Ang basehan is par or stated value kapag large share dividends. 20%. Ito, large. Lagyan natin dito, large. Yan. 10,000 times the par value, 100 pesos per share. 10,000 times 100 equals 1 million pesos. Credit share distributable or stock dividends payable. 1 million pesos at par value. Ang share distributable is hindi yan liability account. Yan ay makikita natin sa shareholders equity account. Payment. Okay. Actual issuance ng share distributable. Debit. Share. Distributable. Or stock dividends payable. 1 million. Credit. Ordinary. Share. Capital. 1 million. Pesos. Tapos na natin gawin yung journal entries for declaration and payment. For number 1, 20% share dividend is declared. Number 2, a 10% share dividend is declared on ordinary shares. Okay, balikan natin yung no. Kapag ang share dividend is less than 20%, siya ay small share dividend. So, ito ay small. And ang kapag small share dividend recorded at fair market value. But before tayo mag-proceed, kailangan natin ma-determine yung number of share 
dividends. <clears throat> Number of share dividend equals 50,000 shares, which is yung na-compute natin kanina na ito, times the rate 10%. Therefore, number of share dividends ay 5,000 shares. Okay. Declaration. Ang sabi, recorded at fair market value. Yun yung basihan. Okay, lagay natin dito. Fair market value. Okay, dalawa yung fair market value. Market value declaration date, market value distribution date. Ang gagamitin natin dyan is yung declaration date. 150 pesos per share. But ang sabi, if the fair market value is lower than par or stated value, a par value or stated value will be the basis of recording. So, lag lagay din natin dito yung par value. So, check natin kung pwede natin gamitin yung 150. Ang par value is 100. So, mas malaki yung fair market value over par value. So, ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin pwede natin gamitin as basis, yung 150 pesos. Dahil mas malaki siya kaysa sa par value. Kapag mas maliit yung fair market value kaysa sa par value, then yung par value ang magiging basehan natin sa recording. Okay. To record declaration ng share dividends, debit, retained earnings, Number of share dividend is 5,000 times the fair market value, 150 pesos per share. 5,000 times 150 pesos equals 750,000 pesos. Credit, share distributable. At what amount? 5,000 number of share dividends times the par value which is 100 pesos per share. 500,000 pesos. Credit, share premium for the difference, 250,000 pesos. Payment or issuance ng share dividends. Debit, share distributable 500,000 credit ordinary share capital 500,000 pesos. Okay, ibig sabihin, lahat ng shareholder ni corporation is makaka-receive ng additional 10% share dividends for number 2. And for number number 1, lahat ng shareholder is makaka-receive pa sila ng additional 20% ng kanilang share sa corporation. So, tapos na, tapos na nating magawa yung mga journal entries for Large share dividends and small share dividends.